Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to print PDF report using button click event and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add dynamic data and time while you print the report right the download time in PDF report please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about Odoo you can visit the Wablance channel and here in the playlist you can scroll down and you can see Odoo development label is there and here you can see different types of playlist available with different test cases alright and if you need any support using Odoo related you can visit the about page send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can also use for the training purpose we also have a different types of social media pages make sure you can also follow to get the latest notification and uh, if you support this channel using many ways buy me coffee paypal or using this join button so far what we done is we created a header and footer as a custom right the custom layout and over there we added the dynamic values so you can see by default it will available here the report right and once i will click here it will automatically download the report but let's say here i want to add one more button in this header part the form header part and over there once i will click or oh, let's say the user click to that button it will automatically download such report so how you can do that right so you can see this header part the footer part and this dynamic code we already generated right in our last discussion so if in case you missed please check the previous discussion and now what we are doing in this discussion is we are trying to create here one more button and on that click event we will try to generate the same report all right so for that like i will go to here in the odoo version 15 community version we are using right now and you can see here school student profile is here and here we are trying to add one more method in the student profile why because if you see this is the student profile okay let me add here one more method which is def print custom report like this and simple i will use return okay and here i will use self dot env da ref in a double quote here we have to pass here the report action all right so for that like we are going to here in this new module which is created for the for the custom layout purpose and you can see this is our report action right so we have to copy this one and first thing is we have to paste here plus we have to also paste the module name so in this module this action is available right so don't forget this module name otherwise it if you missed here this module name so auto automatically check in the current module so current module for as of now is the school underscore student and it will automatically treat as a school underscore student dot and this id if this is not match in the database it will rise the error so make sure you can add properly module name and the id the xml id all right and simple we have to call one more uh, let's say the method which is report underscore action and under this one we have to provide here the record set so as of now the record set should be the self self means this is the current record set all right so that's it and now we are trying to add the same this method we have to bind in the form view right so for that like i'm going here in the view so you can see this is a student profile and simple i will try to add here one more button right and object string print custom report like this okay i will save 
and I will try to upgrade this module why because we change in the XML side so here I will try to upgrade module from this PyCharm terminal if you don't know how to configure Odoo in PyCharm please check editor level playlist over there I already explained and now I'm going to here in the front end side and I will try to refresh this page so you can see here this button is available right and if I will click here so you can see it will automatically load the report and it will automatically download the report so you can see the timestamp also you can see here here it was 8.22 and you can see here 8.27 right so like this way it will automatically add the current timestamp right the download timestamp here I mean so like this way you can download any report using this report underscore action all right so in a self you can add one or more record set so it will automatically print here all the reports in a one shot okay so it's not a compulsory we have to pass always self you can add your logic here before execute this line and you can pass here the specific record set and it will print based on the record set the pdf file all right so this is the way this is the simplest way you can print report using the button click event and if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session